Ladies and gentlemen, another cart conversation. This time in the fifth, fifth episode, we've got free agent acquisition. Peter Godbert, six god, he's from T.O. We're gonna talk a little bit about our new center here for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. So you, you went to Rice University in Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. Right, uh, St. Andrews. Yep, St. Uh, Andrews College in Aurora. It's an okay. all-boys private boarding school just uh, north of the city of Toronto. Yeah. All boys private boarding school. Yep, yeah. That's another car combo, folks. <laughs> um, so tell me, what, Rice University actually, have you ever heard of Ladolphius McCallum? No, I have not. So he was a former Saskatchewan Rough Rider. He was actually one of the leaders when I first got there, but he's from Rice University, so there's a connection there. Oh, cool. What's one of the things that people don't know about Rice University? Like, what's one of the things that you're like, you know what, my school does this really well? So Rice, you know, when I got recruited by Rice, I had no idea what it was. I'd never heard of it before. Right. And uh, it was the second smallest Division One school, so we only had 4,000 undergrads. Oh, so wow. it's more of an academic-based school. That's probably some people don't know about it. And uh, I think uh, our stadium at the time fit 70,000 people, and you could fill all of our alumni, dead or alive, in our stadium, and it still wouldn't be full. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So small schools, like kind of like Duke University, they got a really small. School yeah, really there. small academic school. Yeah. Um, What'd you study there? I did kinesiology, I did sport management, I did a double major. So is, is this something that you want to carry on into after football's done? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. Right. You know, uh, there's a medical sales option uh, opportunity there. Right. You know, um, open up my own gym maybe. Just, oh, just, there you uh, go. Yes, open, open uh, ideas and uh, opportunities. So. And, and you're from Toronto, so here, yeah. the, the, let's, let, let me ask you something. Out of the four major teams, we're not going to talk about the Argos today because we don't want to talk about the enemy. All right, but out of the, the Blue Jays, the Leafs, the Raptors, and the TFC, what's your favorite franchise? Definitely the Leafs. I the grew Leafs. up a huge Leafs fan. I used to go to the games with my dad, Matt Sundin, Thomas Caberlet, all, all those guys right. I grew up idolizing. I wanted to play for the Leafs, so definitely the Leafs. I love the Raptors too, the Jays. I'm a, I'm a diehard Toronto sports fan for every team except the Argos. So then, to double off that, what's your most what, what team are you most frustrated with all the time as a Toronto sports fan? hundred percent. The Leafs, absolutely. The Leafs won a playoff series this year, so I can't say I'm as frustrated anymore, but it was 17 years. The last time they won it was before this was 2004, and that was a long, long time ago. You know, I'm from Mississauga, man, and I, I spend a lot of time watching the Leafs, too. I, I just really feel like the first first round was their Stanley Cup, man. What are, what are we going to do? What do we we need to win the Stanley Cup? Yeah, we really do. And, and we're up 3-1 every series, 3-2, and we it's just such heartbreaking losses too. That's the worst thing about it. If you're the new general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs, what moves are you making in the offseason? I, I don't even know because our team is loaded with talent. I may like I'm not, I'm not sure what we do because we got all the talent in the world. Everyone wants to come play for Toronto, but we just can't finish in the playoffs. We need some jerks. That's yeah. what I feel like. I feel like we need some older guys who are just really who are just jerks. I would say something different, but a lot of kids watch this show. I, I feel like that's what, we need a little bit of edge on the team, you know? Oh, definitely, Too yeah. many guys that are too, yeah, you know, the younger generation. Maybe, well, you're part of the younger generation. Maybe bring in some O-linemen, some enforcers there. Do you play, like, can you skate? I played house league in grade eight. I was a middle school backup goalie in hockey. Woo! That was my, uh, my peak. So. That's your claim to fame? Yeah, claim to fame. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Um, so, now that you're getting acclimated here, right, like, you haven't really left the dorms though like what's what's really exciting to you about saskatchewan what are you really looking forward to is it the food scene is it like walking around with Scana, like discovering the place yeah so i actually came three weeks early before camp to stay in regina and you know meet with trevor and the coaches to kind of get uh reintroduced to his offense but uh the favorite part of regina right now is just just the fan base and how man anywhere you go and you're wearing something riders right. people come up to you people right. love the riders this is like the place to be if you're playing football in Canada, you want to be playing for Saskatchewan Rough Riders. It's the, there's no other fan base like it. So now I want to ask you something. So, and, and I had teammates who were really good at this. I used to be really good at this, but when you're on your away trip to Toronto, yeah. you probably got a ton of people coming to watch it, right? Yeah. So Mike McCullough used to do this. Mike McCullough used to go through the locker room during training camp asking guys that he didn't, who did, probably weren't even gonna be on the team if he could have their game tickets when they go to Toronto. Because each one, each person, each guy gets two game yeah. tickets per game, folks, right? So what's your strategy for getting as many Toronto game tickets as possible? So I always tell the O-linemen, keep it in-house. Right. So there's about six of us to travel. 
Um, so usually, you know, right right away that's 10 or 12 tickets. Cool. I go to the quarterbacks, you know, the running backs. I kind of stick on the offense and say, hey, you scratch my back a little bit, hey. I'll scratch yours. Hey, you you know? want the blitz called properly, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. you want the protection to move in the right way, you should probably give me some tickets, right? Yeah, well, no, not, not like that, but <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll trade tickets for like a Montreal game for the okay. uh, Quebec guys or something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah. So. That, that's that's what it is. So how many people do, are, you, do you, are you expecting at the Toronto game this so, year? So, unfortunately, we actually don't play in Toronto this that's year. That's right. Oh, man. We I played in Halifax. That. But last year when uh, when I was with BC and we came to Toronto, I had 32 people come to the game. He knows the schedule better than I do, folks. <laughs> this is your new center, Peter Godber, and this has been Card Conversations. Thanks for the visit, my man. Yeah, Enjoy the workout. It. He's yeah. got to go lift. <laughs>